A coveted congressional seat on Chicago's South Side is about to be up for grabs for the first time in 30 years. Bobby Rush confirmed today that he will not run for a 16th term on Capitol Hill, opting instead to focus on the community he has served for decades. WGN political reporter Tamon Bradley is here now with more. Tamon. Ray and Jackie, the most senior Illinois congressman, a seemingly untouchable political figure, made it official today, telling supporters he de he's decided against seeking re-election. The scene was reminiscent of a bygone era. Chicagoans gathered at the Roberts Temple Church of God in Christ, where Emmett Till's funeral was held, to hear a Southside activist who took his battle for equality and justice to Washington announce he's coming home. I will not be running for a 16th term. Representative Bobby Rush will leave Congress when his term ends, but he says he's not going away. He vows to remain in public life. For me, I have a higher calling. And I'm answering that higher calling. Rush rose to prominence during the Black Power movement of the 1960s when he co-founded the Illinois chapter of the Black Panther Party. Later in life, Rush pushed the federal government to reveal files related to the police killing of Fred Hampton and Mark Clark. Rush first won his congressional seat in 1992, his fight for civil rights lasting for decades. In recent years, Rush has battled health issues. Cancer of the salivary gland altered his speaking. Rush still jokes about his distinction as the only person to ever defeat Barack Obama at the ballot box when the future president challenged Rush during the 2000 primary. For the life of me, I don't know who won. This man is on his way to becoming a billionaire. He's been the president of the United States. And I'm standing before you saying that I'm retiring from being a, a, a member of Congress. Rush also has a defeat on his record. He unsuccessfully challenged Chicago Mayor Richard M. Daley in 1999. Political analyst Charles Thomas says the defeat marked a turning point. Those of us who know Bobby Rush and have known him for a long time will understand his legacy as that of an activist. But I think he stayed too long. I don't think that there's anything that anybody will remember about Bobby Rush's term after he ran for mayor because he basically became a benign character. Before the announcement, five candidates were challenging Rush in the Democratic primary. With Rush no longer in, sources say a number of state lawmakers, at least one Chicago alderman, and an activist are considering jumping in. It's an attractive seat. This could be reminiscent of the 2019 mayor's race in Chicago, where you have all of these candidates and it's not going to take very many votes to win. But for now, those who want to succeed, Rush, are joining in the tributes that continue pouring in from Chicago to Washington. In a statement, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said, Congressman Rush never relented in his fight to lift up long underserved communities of color in Chicago and across the country. Jackie and Ray. Well, it is a big mm -hmm. pool of potential candidates oh boy, yeah. waiting in the wings. Yes, indeed. A lot of people want to be the Southside Congressman. All right. Thanks, Tamon. Well, an investigation under